Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's time to go down and see Red Red on his birthday. I, I'm counting every step today. And don't really feel like going to a birthday party, but Red Red would be upset if I didn't go down there. So. I had to feed the fish anyway. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here and feed these fish. Well, they've eaten almost all that azola I put in there. Feed these fish here and uh, say hi to Red. Yeah, they're definitely hungry. Oh, yeah. We can give a update on the. Oops, sorry about that. We gotta save this feed out so I can feed the little guys again later. I can give you an update on the uh, fish in the in the uh, floating cages as well. We'll just make this a circuit. Even I am willing to admit that I, I probably have pneumonia. I just have absolutely no energy. My chest hurts when I breathe. And even just walking gets me out of breath so of course my daughters are nagging the crap out of me so I I will go uh, today Saturday so there's no use I'm going to try to find a doctor today and I'm, there's no way I'd go to the hospital here so We'll go down and find us a doctor on Monday. I uh, I just need a I just need a checkup so I can get a script. That's all. Just need some antibiotic, I'm sure, and we'll have this whooped out pretty quick. This aeration is I don't know. Whether or not it's any better or worse than it was before, who can say? But I don't even feel good enough to get there's three floaters in there, and I don't even feel I ain't I ain't getting in there to fish them out, and I don't want to bother Topper. But. Uh, at least they're getting some air in there. Yeah, I know. I need to get the dead fish out of it. Or the air is kind of pointless. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I can't do what I can't do. I'm 
trying my best to feed these fish four times a day. Yeah, I only got them fed three times yesterday. It was just... There's no one else to do it. I haven't... I haven't shown anybody else what to, how to do it. That's why. I should probably at least show Tatai, but Tatai's busy. I don't want to bother him. He's working on their house. He's got his own things going on. Marcel's got Charlie to take care of. And that leaves me. So, I've got to soldier through and just make it happen. I'm wearing my new rubber boots that the lovely Marcel got for me a couple days ago. I've got to, I just should have, you know, sometimes you have to have the energy to be assertive. And I just should have told Tata to stop what he was doing, even though they had half of this net up already. Um, and just stop and make it wider, make it right. Uh, but instead, he's, he's sewn it up here and made it wrong. So now it's got to be redone because you know these ponds aren't these ponds aren't big enough in the first place, right? They're not one hectare ponds, and he's got this stretch so tight you can see the angle that that net is going in there. So it's probably not reaching the bottom of the pond until right you know ten feet out, and. <laughs> So we're we're uh, <coughs> we're losing that we're not utilizing that much of the pond. And yeah, I know you can tell that these uh, fish are Jesus Christ karaoke. I can't get away from it. <sighs> these fish are not hitting the the feed that hard couple reasons there's not that many fish left in here and the ones that are left are small and um, are not really trained on the feed yet but within a week they'll be hitting it pretty strong you can see they're they're kind of figuring it out and these guys over here they're getting on it so we'll make it happen so let's go see what's going on over here at the party <laughs> 